Hello and welcome to the daily download. This is Bob, uh, and this is an ongoing experiment in short form audio that I'm attempting to do on a daily basis. And so today I want to share something. Uh, a few days ago, I was doing my morning routine that includes journaling. And I mentioned it before, but I like to ask myself a series of questions and then just quiet my mind and see what messages come through. And so I asked the question, yeah, what message do I need to share today? Or what message or what idea is seeking to express itself? Uh, and quite often uh, images come to me in my mind that uh, I may or may not know what they mean right away, but I try to find some meaning from them. In this particular morning when I asked that question, I immediately saw the image of a mouse trap that had snapped. But in it was not, there was no cheese there, there was no rodent, it was actually like a deflated balloon. It's almost as if the mouse trap had popped uh, this balloon. And that was immediately followed by something that I hadn't thought of in decades. But there was this toy that my mom got me for Christmas or my birthday uh, when I was like in grade school. And it consisted of uh, you, you would take a balloon, blow it up, and then, you know, tie it off like you normally would. And then there was this sort of lightweight pl uh, plastic base that you would attach to the bottom of the balloon where you would tie it that would sort of weigh it down and give it the look of a you know like a basket at the bottom of a hot air balloon but the the most in, uh, important part of this toy was the small fan that you could use a controller to adjust where the fan was pointing so what you would do and yeah I don't remember what this thing was called if I don't think it was all that popular but I loved it and you would actually uh, sus I hold the balloon up uh, to where the fan was pointing. And at some point when you position it just right, you could let go of the balloon and it would hover in the air. So basically the fan would create this air stream around the balloon that would keep it, uh, you know, ele elevated without you touching it. And then with the controller, you could slowly move the fan and then slowly move the balloon around the room up and down. And so so that's what came to me the other morning. I'm going, what the heck is this? And so here's how I interpreted it. And uh, I would love it if you if you have a different interpretation of these symbols, feel free to leave a uh, comment because I've I've had some that where people really saw things that I didn't see, and I love reading those. So anyway, I think that the mouse trap and the deflated balloon represented the ideas uh, that we. Uh, have, have internally um, uh, let the air out of. Uh, they're trapped. We downplay our desires, our gifts, uh, with these inclinations that we get to do something big in the world and do to whatever, uh, either exterior pe people, uh, you know, our family and friends telling us, ah, oh, you can't do that. Who, who are you, you know, you don't, don't have the qualifications or whatever. Or more importantly, or most likely, it's your own internal dialogue that is watering down your ambitions and, and just basically taking the air out of all of your ideas and the things that you want to do. So that's what I think that represented. This toy, though, if you think about it, this uh, toy used an invisible force that's available to everyone to launch and lift and propel this balloon. And so I think there's a great analogy or metaphor here, whatever you want to call it, uh, but that your ideas, there's an internal force or, or an, an, an invisible force, I should say. Yes, it's also internal um, that will launch, will propel, will lift uh, your ideas. And that's what you should focus on. And this isn't a resource like air is not a resource that you, only the rich have or only people that are well connected or have an ed ed education. Air is available to all of us. And so think of your own fuel uh, to fuel your ideas, to fuel your ambitions. Uh, you have that invisible force available to you right now to, to take those ideas, the most important ones, the ones that you're really called to do, and launch that thing into the world and lift it up and don't allow it to be trapped. Here's some notes that I took. It says, yeah, don't let discouragement trap you. Um, the uh, Let's see here. It, let, oh, let the invisible force of your enthusiasm your and your vision uh, uh, carry and uh, lift your spirits, propel your desires above the trap of lower level thinking. Um, 
So I love the way that that came out when I when I wrote that. So be intentional, grab the steering wheel of your mind and your life. So that's what I got with this daily download from my notes from the other day. Would love to hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment wherever you are listening to this, and I would love to see uh, your thoughts on this as well. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome day. Talk to you again soon. So long for now.